Hey everybody, so we have finally made it to Python Object Oriented Programming. This is a very important topic. In Python, an object is a bundle of related attributes and methods. Attributes are similar to variables to describe what the object has. So look around you right now. You are surrounded by different real world objects. Next to me, I have a phone, a cup, and a book. Each of these objects can have different attributes to represent it. For example, an attribute of the phone next to me could be version number. I could set that to be 13. Is on could be another attribute. Is the phone powered on or not? That could be true or false, or even a price. I have a cup next to me. What liquid is within the cup? In this case, coffee. What's the temperature of the cup? Is the cup empty? Is empty. Or even a book. What's the title of the book? That could be a string. How many pages does the book have? Pages could be another attribute. Now, objects also have the capability to do things. They have methods, which are functions that belong to an object. People mix up functions and methods all the time. They're technically different. Even when teaching, I tend to make that mistake, calling a method a function and a function a method. Usually people know what you're referring to, though. A method is a function that belongs within an object. What are some actions these objects can perform? With a phone, you can make a call or receive a call, turn the phone on or turn the phone off. Those could all be functions. With a cup, you could fill the cup, drink from the cup, or empty the cup. With a book, you can open the book, read the book, and close the book. An object is a bundle of related attributes and methods. They can represent real-world items. To create many objects, we'll need to utilize a class. A class is a type of blueprint used to design the structure and layout of an object. We need to design what our objects have, their attributes, and what they can do, their methods. We will create a class of car. We will create some car objects. Class car. To construct a car object, we need a special type of method called a constructor. It works similarly to a function. We will define a function of double underscore init, meaning initialize, double underscore again, and then follow this with a set of parentheses. This is our constructor method. We need this method in order to construct objects. It's a dunder method, dunder meaning double underscore. That's a future topic. I don't want you to be overloaded with information right now. All you need to know is that we need this method in order to create objects. This method behaves similar to a function. We need to set up the parameters. Self is already provided to us. Self means this object we're creating right now, this car. So what are some attributes that a car should have? A model, that could be a string, like a BMW. A year, that could be a number. A color, let's add a Boolean of for sale. Is the car for sale or not? That's true or false. To assign these attributes, we're going to access self. Self dot, the name of the attribute, self dot model equals the model we receive. These are parameters. When we receive the name of a model, we will assign it to this object. Let's do this with year. Self dot year equals year. Self dot color equals color self dot for sale equals for sale this is an example of a few attributes that a car might have a model year color and if it's for sale or not represented by a boolean now to construct a car object we need a unique name for this car let's just say car one car one equals take the name of the class Add a set of parentheses to invoke the constructor. We're going to do this almost exactly like a function. We have parameters set up. We need to send a matching number of arguments. Self is provided to us behind the scenes automatically. We need a model, year, color, and if it's for sale or not. So pick a car of your choosing. I'll pick my favorite car. The model will be a Mustang. For the year, I'll go with the recent year of 2024. A color, I'll pick red, is the car for sale. 
I like this car, so no. I will set that to be false. Make sure false is capitalized. Let's see what happens if I attempt to print our car object of car1. What we're given is the memory address of this car object where it's located, but I would like one of the attributes located at this memory address. Instead of printing the object itself, we're going to access one of the attributes found within this car. We will follow the name of the car with a dot. This dot, it's known as the attribute access operator. I would like the model of car one. That would give me Mustang. Let's access the year. Take the name of the car, car one, dot, the year, 2024, followed by the color, car one, dot color, red, car one, is it for sale? We'll print that. That is false. Now let's create a second car. We're going to reuse this class to create a second car. We will create car2 equals car. We'll pass in some different arguments. A Corvette. The year will be 2025. The color will be blue. Is this car for sale? Let's say that is true. Instead of accessing car1's attributes, let's access car2's attributes. That would give us a Corvette. The year is 2025. The color is blue. For sale is set to true. Or even a third car. Car3 equals a new car. We will pass in a string of charger. The year, 2026. The color will be yellow. Is this car for sale? Let's say that is true as well. Then I will print Car3's attributes. The model is Charger, the year is 2026, the color is yellow, for sale is set to true. With classes, they can take up a lot of space. For better organization, you can place them within a new Python file. So let's cut our class, and we will create a new Python file within our project folder. File, new, Python file. The name of this Python file is going to be all lowercase, car. Then we will paste the class that we cut originally. Class car, which has a capital C. So from our main Python file, we're going to import our car file, our car module. From the name of the module, car, import the name of the class, car. Then when I run this program, nothing should change. We should still have access to all of our car objects. You could either keep your classes within your main Python file, or import them if you would like to organize things. Let's talk about methods. Methods are actions that our objects can perform. Within our class, we will define a method of drive. Self is going to be provided to us. When we invoke the drive function, let's print, you drive the car. What other things can cars do? Let's stop. We will print, you stop the car. Let's take car1, access the drive method. You drive the car. Car2 also has a drive method. You drive the car. Same thing with car3. You drive the car. Let's access the stop method. Car1 dot stop car2.stop, and car3.stop. These methods are identical for each car object. Instead of printing the word car, let's insert the model of the car. I will convert these print statements to F strings. Instead of the word car, let's add a placeholder. Let's add self.model. Self is referring to the object we're currently working with. Use the attribute access operator, followed by the name of the attribute. Let's also do this with the stop method. Self 
dot model. Let's take car one, use the drive method. You drive the Mustang. Car one dot stop. You drive the Mustang, you stop the Mustang. Let's do this with car two. You drive the Corvette, you stop the Corvette. Car three. You drive the Charger, you stop the Charger. Now within our F strings, let's also insert Let's insert the color. I'll add a placeholder, self.color. Do this with stop as well. Self.color. You drive the yellow charger, you stop the yellow charger. Car one. You drive the red Mustang, you stop the red Mustang. Car two. You drive the blue Corvette, you stop the blue Corvette. Let's add one last method. Let's create a method to describe our car. We'll print the details of the car. Let's print, I'll use an F string, add three placeholders. Let's print self.year followed by self.color, then self.model. We'll take car1, use the describe method that we created. Describe car1. One. Car1 one is a 2024 red Mustang. Describe car2. Two. Car2 two is a 2025 blue Corvette. Car3 is a 2026 yellow Charger. All right, everybody, so those are objects in Python. An object is a bundle of related attributes Attributes are variables that an object has, and methods. Methods are functions that belong to an object. They define what this object can do. And well, everybody, that is a summary of object-oriented programming using Python.